Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to an episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we're going to talk about Marvel Future Fight, which is a mobile game that I've been playing on and off for probably a year and a half now, I think. Um, I believe Eddie's Mullet and a couple other people in the, in the comment section kind of got me into it. And one day I just was like, oh, I'll buckle down, I'll play it. I played it, you know, for free. I didn't pay any money for it for like maybe two or three months. And then after that, I got to a certain point where I'm like, oh, I need a little bit of help leveling up certain characters like Carnage and Venom and stuff. And uh, but you can only get them so far. Well, you know, obviously the game does updates all the time. So if you've never played it every like month or couple months, they'll do these updates. I think they're on version 6.50 now. So like they've definitely been doing a ton of updates over the years and they'll add things. You know, some characters, they can only go to level 60 and then you can, uh, you know, upgrade them past that into tier two. And then those characters go up to level 70. And then there are also characters that can go up to tier three, which, you know, makes them more powerful and stronger with better upgrades and better attacks and things like that. So, you know, I've really kind of enjoyed the game but then I got really addicted to it and over like the course of like six months I think each month I was putting like 20 bucks into it uh, so that was like $120 over the course of six months and I'm like man that's the price of two full video games uh, you know that you can buy like when they first come out like AAA games and it's not that this game isn't worth it but I just noticed uh, almost like an addiction to it and I was like okay I gotta like simmer this down I gotta get more in control of kind of my um, you know interest in this game and so I stopped playing it for almost a you know, almost a year now I think I think it's been maybe I think I stopped around beginning of the year right before COVID and uh, and then I haven't played it you know since I moved to Florida um, so it's been maybe about eight months or so since I stopped playing it so obviously I heard about this update coming up and they've been putting out these little teaser videos and I'll show them up here right now on the uh, Marvel Future Fight uh, you know YouTube channel which I'll put a link to down below um, but they put up these little like a uh, 15 second you know teasers throughout the week and there's been four of them for the past like a uh, week and a half now and they are hinting at symbiotes uh, which is really awesome they hinted at Scream being uh, in part of the update that's coming up uh, for the October update and obviously they also at the end showed the dream crystals from War of the Realms, which if you remember my review of those books uh, written by Colin Bunn, I really loved War of the Realms Venom. That that three issue miniseries are part of the, you know, it was a part of the monthly Venom book. I think it was issues 13, 14, and 15 or something like that. Um, but they were great. Actually, I had a lot of fun reading them and they had a jack-o'-lantern in there and Venom or Eddie Brock, he was separated from the symbiote at that point. So he used a dream crystal to create like this weird uh, dream crystal symbiote thing, uh, which was awesome. So, you know, all those little updates were great. They, you know, they're hinting like, hey, there's something big coming up. Uh, big update, obviously new characters, new costumes, things like that. People are speculating that Red Goblin, because uh, we saw a teaser of him with Cosmic Ghost Rider. Uh, but I think that was more for Contest of Champions. Um, I know Cosmic Ghost Rider is in Marvel Future Fight uh, for you Donny Kate fans out there. Uh, but I don't think Red Goblin is, at least as of right now. Um, at least I haven't seen him. But they have added Morbius recently. So for those of you who want to see Morbius in action, um, you know, and hopefully I'll have some gameplay footage up there of my playing of it, because I can record my playthroughs of it on my phone. So you may see a, a rare, you know, every once in a while a Venom vlog episode where I'm just playing the game, um, you know, and maybe I'll add some commentary to it or maybe I won't, you know, who knows. But uh, you might see those if they're Venom related, especially after this update comes out, because today we actually got full confirmation of what's going to be in this update. So again, I'm going to put a link to the YouTube channel down below that has all this information on it. And one video in particular, after they posted like the, the four little teasers, they also showed this trailer. Um, so I'll have that playing up there and you can see uh, some of the stuff they're revealing, which is basically, uh, you know, Dream Crystal Venom. Uh, so you're going to get the War of the Realms version of Venom. He's going to be a new costume that you can uh, pay for, I'm assuming, with crystals or unlock in some way. So you'll have him. Uh, you'll also have, uh, you know, there's going to be a Miles Morales costume coming up where he's, you know, carnageized or whatever, like he was in the, uh, you know, in the comic book series where he's got the extra arms and stuff. Uh, but that is not coming out just yet. I think they said they have to still work on some of that. So that's probably going to be on one of the next updates next month. But, you know, be on the lookout for that. Uh, there's also another costume for Gwen, uh, Spider Gwen, where she is Gwenum. So we're going to get Gwenum and Venom uh, with the dark, you know, with the dream crystals. We're going to get both of them. And obviously we're going to get Scream. She's going to be a new character that they're adding, uh, as well as Spider-Woman, Jessica Drew Spider-Woman. So this is great. Very Spider-centric, you know, universe of characters here that they're adding, which I really like. And it's great because Spider-Woman has been 
uh, fans have been asking for her for a while, so it's great for those fans who have been asking for her. Finally get to have her. Uh, Venom is going to be Tier 3 now, so you can go past Tier 2. I have met Tier 2 in the anti-Venom costume, but now you can go past that and go to Tier 3. Um, no news on Carnage. Any updates on Carnage yet? I think you might be able to Tier 3 him right now. I don't know, actually. Someone will have to let me know in the comments. Um, but, of course, the big thing a lot of you comic book fans are going to love uh, that I'm, you know... I don't really care too much about, but when they when I heard how they're going to add them, I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Um, they're not adding a new story mode. I think some people were speculating that there might be um, absolute carnage uh, themes to this or, you know, storyline to this, and it doesn't really seem that that's the case, um, but they are adding Null to the game, and Null is going to be a world boss. So world bosses are something that are optional. You can go to them, and when you get to a world boss, you'll see, like, Thanos and his children, and you can pick one of them to fight, or for X-Men fans, you can fight uh, Cable, Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver and Apocalypse. Um, so I kind of wish they did Apocalypse and his four horsemen, but since Archangel already exists in the game, it doesn't really make sense to make him a world boss. Uh, but they added in Cable and stuff like that, and you can unlock Strife and all these other characters. So um, so they have those. So you have those battles for world boss, and then you have the, the Avengers, you have Thanos and stuff. Now we have a Spider-Man Venom world boss, which is Null. And Null is a legend, uh, basically, uh, status. So he's even harder than the, the ones that currently are out. Like Apocalypse, you had to do a lot. You have to jump through a lot of hoops to unlock Apocalypse and do all these little challenges and stuff to unlock him and Cable and Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch and all of them. But uh, I don't know if, what we're going to have to do to unlock Null, but he will be available in some way uh, in the game. And you'll have to at least be, um, at, you know, have a like awakening ability and be tier three to even fight him because otherwise you won't stand a chance at all, apparently. And when I heard that, I'm like, well, that makes sense because he's kind of like a, a Gary Stu or Mary Sue, whatever you want to call him. Uh, again, and it's funny because I don't like to use that term, but it totally fits with Null and characters like Dylan, where these are characters that are just given power by the writer, Donny Cates, um, and they haven't earned anything. He's, Null hasn't shown anything that proves that he's earned to be someone who's so worthy of power that people should fear him over Galactus or you know even Dr. Doom to a level like all right he's the god of symbiotes and he, he cut off the head of a celestial so what <laughs> like the Avengers have beaten celestials before so to me I'm just kind of like what is, you know is he stronger than Thanos with the infinity gauntlet like it just seems silly he just has all this power and he just has it he you know, hasn't earned it or, or, or worked hard for it um he just has it and and so he's not a very interesting character to me so when i heard he's just going to be in this game as a world boss i'm like oh that makes sense because there's no story there you just walk up and fight him and he just is it's just hard because you know the the, ga the game designers made him hard to beat <laughs> so so to me again it's like it's very fitting of the character of the comics it's very accurate He's powerful for no reason. Um, so, uh, so yeah. So when I saw all these updates, so I got pretty excited. Even though I, I'm, I don't, I don't know if I have any tier three characters. So I don't know if I'll be able to fight and all and show you that footage or anything. Um, but, uh, but some of the other stuff I will be able to do. I'll be able to unlock Scream probably. There's an event going on right now where you can earn event tokens, and those are going to be used to like access something, whether it's going to be a character or an ability or a costume or something. Uh, those will be there. So I'm logging in every day this week. I downloaded the game again a couple days ago and I was hoping there would be an event and there is so every day I've been logging in and earning the event tokens that I need to get ready for the update that's going to be on Tuesday so on Tuesday which is I think the 28th I, I don't know actually the date I think it's the 28th though um well no today's the 23rd so 24th 25th 26th 27th I think so um anyway that Tuesday of October of 2020 we're going to get an update for this game and it's going to have uh you know all these things to it so yeah it's the 27th um it's going to have all these things that I just talked about, except for the the um, Miles Morales uh, alternate costume. I don't think we're going to get that yet, but we will get the Dreamstone Venom. We will get uh, the Gwenom suit uh, for alternate costumes. New characters will get Scream and Spider-Woman, and then we'll also have the Null World Boss as well. And then hopefully we'll get Miles pretty soon after. Um, but like I said, Morbius is there now. A lot of great characters in this game. It's fun. You can play it for free. There's a campaign mode you can just do for fun. There's a dimensions mode where you can earn stuff and money and, and upgrades and stuff. Um, there's epic quests, but in epic quests, you're probably going to have to spend money. Uh, 
unless you just want to grind every single day, you're probably going to have to spend some money to get you through Epic Quest because I've been playing the Guardians of the Galaxy Epic, uh, Epic Quest mission now, and I've already beat the Deadpool one and the X-Men one, and I probably spent most of that 120 bucks was probably on getting through those two Epic Quest games. So, uh, so there are optional things that you can put in the game. You can put money in if you want, or you can just grind every day and you'll get by. I mean, if, you're, if your interest is just playing a couple online battles against other people um, and then joining an alliance and doing a couple alliance battles just to level up and then playing campaign mode, if that's all you're interested in, you probably won't have to spend any money at all or maybe at the minimum five bucks a month just to get a couple extra crystals or something to help you out. But uh, otherwise, I think you'll be fine. It, it's a fun game. Uh, you know, as long as you don't have an addictive personality, uh, I think you won't spend too much money on it. Um, but now that I'm back in, I've already put 20 bucks into it because I'm trying to get ready for the event, this update on Tuesday. I don't know, you know, if you're going to have to spend crystals to get the costumes or the event tokens or money. Or like, I don't know what it's going to be yet to get those extra costumes. Obviously, I want the Venom one. I want the Gwenom one. And obviously, I want to get Scream and Spider-Woman as, uh, you know, the new characters. So I've been saving stuff up, you know. And when you log in every day, you get little rewards like biometrics, which you can use to level up characters. Um, I have already a tier two thing and a, um, a mastery level thing. So like if someone, if, if I can get them to level six, I can instantly make them a master level six and then instantly turn them into tier two. That's what I'm hoping to do with Scream at least. So, uh, so yeah, these are all things that, uh, you know, uh, you know, parts of the game that, uh, that, you know, that I'm looking forward to. So I wanted to, I spent 20 bucks just to get myself some crystals in case I need to buy a costume and some, you know, extra money in the game, spending money in the game coins and stuff. And then also worked on those event, uh, things every day. So that's mainly what I've been doing to prep for this uh, update. So that way, right when it comes out, I have the best chance to get as much of the new stuff as possible and make a video and show you guys. So hopefully sometime next weekend, I will get a video up of uh, more gameplay footage of me playing through all the new stuff and maybe adding some commentary to it. So if that's something you're interested in, then, you know, you have something to look forward to. And those of you who, you know, are on the fence on this or have never played the game, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. And people like Eddie's Mullet and other people who have played the game, let me know your thoughts. I know there's a lot of negativity sometimes towards this game as far as like what you got to, you know, how much money you got to spend sometimes to really do anything. It, that's optional to me. Even me with an addictive personality sometimes, even I can pull back a little bit and go, okay, you, you're, you hit your limit, 20 bucks. That's what I, I used to spend a month on this game, but this is a one-time thing. I just want to get these new upgrades and then record some footage so I can make an episode or two of the Venom vlog uh, showing this, uh, just showing off more video game stuff with Venom characters in it. So you'll see more of that coming up, and uh, maybe sometimes when I do news reports, I might use some of the extra footage that doesn't make it into the episode. I might use it just as visual stuff so you know you have something to look at on screen other than my ugly face. <laughs> so so uh, you guys let me know again what you think of this game have you played it have you not played it uh are you going to play it now and if i would say if you are probably jump on sooner than later so you can at least do these uh, free event missions and get event tokens for free because that'll help you at least put towards something usually when the events start up there's at least one character that you have to use biometrics on so you have to spend money like morbius for example the only way to up you know uh, upgrade him is if you spend ten dollars for the biometrics daily and that gives you 20 biometrics every morning for 30 days. So every day you log in, you get 20 biometrics and you use that, you add it to, biometrics is basically experience points if you wanna call them that. Uh, they'll, you add them to your character and it's like, all right, if you hit 30 experience points, they'll become level two. And if you hit, uh, another, after that 20 you hit, you gotta hit 40 now and they'll be level three. And then you gotta hit 80 and you get, that'd be level four. And you get them up to level six status. And then from there, you can master their six stars and make turn the gold stars red. And then from there, you advance them to tier two if you have enough money and things to upgrade them. Or if you find a tier two badge, you can just put that on the character and tier two them, which makes them powerful and gives them the potential to reach level 70, to go from level 60 to 70. But even that takes a lot of work and a lot of grinding and a lot of stuff. So they definitely don't make it easy to get characters up to level 70. I currently have, I think, two characters at level 70 which is my favorite X-Man Bishop and uh, one of my favorite symbiotes now and we're talking about him a lot in this uh, season which is Agent Anti-Venom aka Flash Thompson uh, so he's my other character um, his normal costume is the Space Knight costume but you know I have him with the An Agent Anti-Venom suit and he's very powerful uh, in a lot of ways uh, but I want to you know I, I, I maxed him out as far as right now because I don't think he can tier three but if he can I got to start working on that because uh 
he's pretty awesome. And whenever I play people one-on-one -on -one, um, online with my team of three and their team of three, even if they're level 70 with me, I take a lot of people down with that uh, Flash Thompson. He's pretty, he's got some moves that are irritating <laughs> to be up against. That's for sure. Um, so yeah, so anyway, those are my thoughts. I like this game a lot and I'm excited to play it again, but uh, definitely gonna cut myself off after, you know, uh, I'll probably play it for two weeks gather as much footage as I can, and then we'll release, you know, like one or two or maybe even three videos uh, with that footage over the course of the next, you know, month or so. So, uh, yeah, so make sure, uh, at, you know, mid-November, make sure you tell me, Seek, don't be playing that game anymore. Like, Eddie's Mullet, everyone out there, tell me to stop, uh, because after this update, this is all I want for now until they add more symbiote stuff later. Um, even the Miles thing, like, it'll be cool to get that, but I'm not, like, going to re-download the game just to get that. I'll wait till they do Absolute Carnage or King in Black storyline, or I'll wait till they do more symbiote stuff later. But for now, this is going to be good, and I can't wait to play it. So you guys let me know your thoughts down below. We'll continue our conversation down there as always. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.